the reviews because I'm quite sensitive. Um, that's kind of our rule in theater is to not read the reviews. But it's great because um, it's great to hear how well received that it's been because it's, it's such a radical different interpretation um, to the storytelling and the production, right? And it's a very different uh, contemporary modern version. Yeah. So it's nice that people are connecting with the um, the truthful, honest storytelling, yeah. and uh, that we're that we're trying to get out there and just yeah. Is it connect. is it right you're on stage seven times a week, Nicole? Because you've got some big big songs to hit, haven't you? Kind of during that period of time, and I mean obviously you're. Uh, been a great singer with the Pussycat Dolls and so on and so forth, but I'm guessing there's, um, it's physical, isn't it? You've got to look after your voice during that period of time, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, Theatre is no joke, y'all. It is <laughs> brutal. It is like training for the Olympics, like, every day in every way, physically, mentally, vocally. Yeah. Um, so much respect, mad respect to anyone who does the West End, Broadway, theatre <laughs> tours, because we're not doing it for, you know, um, the Instagram or anything. We're literally just doing mm, it for love. those select people in-house mm. who've come to see us. Mm for that moment, one night only, like, mm. that's, yeah. it's never gonna be the same. We're doing it for the love and the passion, so I'm just, uh, it's, it's, it's hardcore. <laughs> I mean, I'm singing some of the most iconic songs ever with one look and as if we never said goodbye mm. in the show, and um, it's an honor to sing those songs, but I really try every time I get on stage, it's like my first time, and it's also mm. like my last time, so I'm not gonna lie, it's very exhausting. By the end of the week, I am just done, and I'm just giving thanks to God that I even survived <laughs> the week. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming yeah. in here on your night oh, off. God. Now, you followed in the footsteps of some incredible theatre legends in this role. We've got Glenn Close and Elaine Page and Patti Lapone. It is an iconic role, but initially, when you took the phone call, you weren't flattered to be offered the role. I think I wasn't educated, you know. I think originally... Um, I just knew the old pictures of Glenn Close and the turban and, and the 1949 or 50 movie of Gloria Swanson. Yeah. Right? And I just was like, they have a thing in, our, in the show that says something like, wow, is that Norma Desmond? And what is she, a million years old? <laughs> and I think if you're not educated, you'd think that, but actually, Patti Lapone and Glenn Close did the role around my age. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's... Uh, so no regrets. <laughs> Absolutely no regrets. Jamie said, go and look at the story. Just read the story. Read her story and listen to the music. And when I read her story, I, I really found that I related to her mm. in so many ways. I yeah. was like, oh my gosh, I'm the modern day Norma Desmond already. <laughs> um, and then I listened to the music and that's when I really fell madly in love with her. The music is just extraordinary. Um, and it's just, it's an honor to sing those songs every night. Yeah.